Hey guys, it's Merrick, and I've got another gameplay commentary for you here today. This one is yet again on Planetide, this time on TR with the Carve. This video is a little late and didn't happen last week because I just got my new computer together, but this is going to be the first video with actually good FPS. So I went back to a classic gun for this one. This one we're using the Carve with a pretty standard loadout for me. I actually managed to not get Hesh spammed or ATG'd into non-existence this time, so we are actually using Munitions Suit, which is why we're running the Decimator. And because I now have slightly more FPS in larger fights, I'm going to be running directly at all of the fights, so we're running Survivalist to make sure that I can try to rotate out when I take shots. So, starting this fight off at Tower Ridge Depot, I see a potential Decimator opportunity, I whiff my shot, and then forget how to do parkour, and just look like an idiot as I try to scale this fence. Then I try the other direction and realize that this is always how it's been done. I just really got too excited. Following up the overzealousness with even more overzealousness, I run directly into where I can get a shot on these fights, and then just catch a few bullets to the forehead. I decide to take a res because it looks like we have control of the outside of the building since they're holding inside, and as I go to jump into this other side and answer a question from chat, I just don't pay attention to the fact that there's a guy on my screen and I die for free. As I'm running back, I pick up a free kill on this guy to the left, who I have no idea what the hell he was doing. He's running away from our spawn, so I really don't know what he was expecting. But from here, I check my minimap, and it looks like there's a grouping of blue in that building I just died in. So I try to get some of the angles, and as I don't see anybody here, I swing the other side of the box, whiff on a guy going into the main building because a shield pops up to save him, and then as I peek this other corner, there's a sentry turret there, so I quickly decimator it, and as I go to continue taking the corner, I see some of my teammates on the side getting flanked. As I clean that up, there's an infiltrator just staring into the wall like the beginning of some kind of a horror movie. I clean him up, I push into the building, catch a few more of them off guard, and then continue to push back towards the main point yet again. I proceed to whiff a ton of shots on some guys on the staircase, most of which either hit the railing or my teammates as they run by. I throw a decimator, catch the guy off guard as he re-peaks, and then see someone at an off angle that I'm able to pick up as I push in and try to get position. However, as I'm pushing in, I'm trying to drop a fancy nade over the railing onto the staircase, and my gun actually obscures somebody at the bottom of the stairs who winds up killing me. From there, I jump up onto the server and try to get some shots onto the staircase, and I don't see a guy at the bottom get taken out, and by the time I would have gotten back, we lose the point, so I just head off to Mesa Skydock. As I get here, there's a ridiculous number of blue people, so I'm not actually able to push out of the spawn room. I spend a little bit of time playing peekaboo with somebody through this window, and once we actually get a little bit more red population, we finally begin to push out and push point. As the red pop finally shows up, I begin to push out of the point, I shoot some dude through the bush because I can see his blue tag, but I know there was more than one person there, so I re-peek, catch a guy trying to get some shots over a poorly executed headshot angle, uh, realize I don't actually have the butcher right now as much as I would have liked it, I decided to use the carve, so I jump back into the spawn room to reload, and as I re-push, I catch one of the guys in the window off guard and get immediately re-peeked by a second one. There is still enough pressure that we're actually slowly making ground out of the spawn room, so I continue to push up. I catch some dude at an off angle who also surprises me. We wind up trading most of my health for him, and then I immediately get re-peaked by another guy and have no chance of winning that fight. I consider going somewhere else because the point is almost over, but as I'm doing that, a bastion rolls in and locks down the point, so we actually have more time to try to fight over it. So I double down, continue shift Wing out, and try to trade myself out to get as much position as I can. I wish I had a more logical reason for why I was just running at people, I was just really enjoying the good FPS and just not really thinking through. I take a completely ill-advised res right in front of two recursion members, but I wind up getting to shuffle around the corner before I die. We wind up taking the L shape, and then I slowly work my way around, checking and clearing angles as we work back towards pushing the point. I wasn't organized playing with 2RAF, but I was logged in during 2RAF ops time, so I accept the invite for the extra spawn beacons and kind of a heading on where the fight's going to be moving around. But I immediately begin to push up towards the point, get a little overzealous trying to sneak past this blue umbrella, and have to run it back. By the time I get back up, the blue umbrella has been removed, so I just stand as far back against the wall as I can and slowly take angles to try and clear out the point. It goes fine at first, but I overextend and forget to burst fire, getting lost in the battle fury, and I wind up trading myself out rather than surviving and continuing to bleed them out. But I run it back, head in the other door, and get a decent angle while they seem to be focusing mostly on the, well, for them, left door. 
I don't know if some of them rotated out or if they abandoned the point thinking that it was going to go through and not noticing the lockdown, but it seems like there's less of them now for one reason or another, and while they have a decent position, we are able to slowly work through clearing them out. I wind up running out of bullets, manage to shuffle around a corner, and while I do have to reload, I drop a Desi and a Nade to try to pick up some more kills, and I jump outside to make sure that I get this reload mostly unmolested. As I re-entry, it seems like so long as we don't fuck up, the fight's going to be going to us, so I take up a tight angle, keep clearing out the shelf, but there are still resonates going on, so we can't exactly start not paying attention right now. We're successfully able to retake the point, and after a little bit of running around, I go to redeploy to head elsewhere, only to see a bunch more blue flyers come in, and a whole lot of population show up on the roof. After trying to pick up a few from the ledges, I see that there's too many planes flying around, and I expect some heavy A to Ging. There actually isn't that much A to Ging going on, but I jump inside anyway, because this is not so much bad weather as it is a fucking tornado warning. After hanging out inside for a little bit, they do try to drop down and push in. There is an OS that winds up stopping them. I clear out what I can, and then realizing there's not going to be a whole lot of a fight manifesting, I wind up heading off somewhere else. following the fight, seems like Tavrit Recycling is the next stop, so as soon as I get in there, I immediately start heading towards point. I try to take a wide angle as I see a bunch of dots up there on my minimap. I'm able to barely tag one before I realize there's going to be a handful of people there. There's more than one person on an angle, so I quickly re-peek and toss a decimator before trying to head in from a slightly different angle. I could actually be behind myself right now on the server, which would give me a farther point from the corner and give me a better fight. But either way, this position has a farther sightline down the raised platform and gives me a better approach to the few people that are on that corner. I eventually trade out, and as I run back, I get a flank on two of their medics. I manage to trade one and then immediately shit the bed and don't finish the second one off before somebody up on the platform trades me out, keeping a good cover on their medics. I yet again run it back to the same rough position because that approach has been doing well for me, but it seems like the fight is mostly over by the time I get here, so I just push up onto point and clear out the last few stragglers. I begin trading shots with the guy in the other room, thinking that they're going to be repushing, but they don't actually wind up doing so, and after a little bit of waiting, I decide to rotate out and try to redeploy, but no sooner do I redeploy do they actually begin to do another retake on the compound. I rotate around trying to get a wider angle, don't turn my brain on in time and just run into this guy with my gun down, take a free death, and then approach with slightly more caution on my next life. I'm following the same route I followed before, but I do wind up catching a few of them off guard and making a breach into their point of attack. I catch a few of them from behind, and then as I try to follow up and chase them up the platform, I throw a nade, whiff with the nade, and then just completely miss all of my shots on what should have been at least one free kill. By the time I respawn, that fight is mostly over, so I head off to the next apparent fight, which happens to be at Crossroads Watchtower. I push on to point, manage to get one pick up there, and then while everybody else kind of goes running around, I just kind of rotate in a circle on the point, waiting for more enemy population to show up. I catch one person trying to come in the back door of the building, and then as I go check that corner, I hang out there for a little bit, and somebody eventually does flank me yet again with a shotgun. I managed to not die there, continue to just rotate around the point, checking the corners and trying to hug the servers so that I can get the best angle if somebody walks in at the wrong time. And despite trying to track their movements on the minimap, that is exactly what happens. As I go to rotate around, somebody walks in at the wrong time and I get flanked. I'm able to catch the guys pushing, and as I check the doorway and there's nobody else there, I go to back up, only to hear a resonate, meaning that there is actually somebody else there and going to be pushing. I clean up somebody standing up again, and two people pushing behind him, and just keep rotating around. But as I do that, as soon as I go to reload, the shotgun guy from earlier shows up yet again, and I fall over. Spawning at Sunder, I try to go run back towards point A, which was retaken by blue, and as I'm running back, I see a bunch of blue guys outside. I try to take some long-range shots and whiff a whole bunch, but as I go to push up towards point A itself, 
I see a bunch of them running in and over the barrier they've erected, and I just try to thin them out from over here. I run out of bullets though, and I saw a few of them run onto the bridge, so I know I have to rotate back into the building. I get my reload, I try to re-peek out the side because I see a blue dot that I think should be peeking close. I don't actually see him when I peek outside, I just take a few more shots. So I try to keep an eye on where he should be peeking and just wait for them to push in. Eventually I do see someone where the dot said they would be, and as I re-peek trying to bait his re-peek, I see someone else show up. I'm able to get that takeout, but somebody from the tower was trying to take me out, so I just rotate upstairs where it looks like there might be a little bit of trouble. There wasn't, and as I come back downstairs, I'm kind of just waiting for a large push that I'm not sure is going to materialize. As I peek out, I see somebody's foot, I re-peek into him, miss all of the headshots, and we wind up trading. Thankfully though, I get picked up, and I'm still kind of waiting for this push. We saw a lot of blue guys coming out of point A and running across the bridge, but none of them actually materialized on the point like I expected. After a little bit longer of holding, I wind up pushing back out to that same rock earlier and picking up a bunch of kills as people are trying to flood in and out of point A. But I'm not going to be able to commentate over that because I've got to start bringing this video to a close where we end up with 62 kills in 22 minutes. This was one of my first sessions with new FPS and I gotta say having more FPS is quite nice. I think it kind of exacerbated some of my existing problems though. I already have trouble being a little too over aggressive re-peeking without shields and getting caught up in the fight and not remembering to burst fire. And I think being able to just keep my FPS up with the gameplay just kind of made that worse rather than better because there was less time for me to realize that, hey, I should be playing properly and not being an absolute ape. On the other hand, trying to slide around corners and rotate away from getting shot felt a little bit better. My gunplay itself felt a little bit better. So it's got its pros and its cons, and I've just got to really learn how to keep myself in check, I think. But that is a consistent and ongoing problem that is not anywhere near specific to this video by itself. These fights were pretty good, there was a whole lot of lacking A to G, and I had a great time. There's always more to improve on than what I've just highlighted about myself, but as always, let me know what you do like, let me know what you don't like, let me know what you think, so I can improve my videos going forward. Thank you guys for your continued support, and I'll see you guys next time.